2012, um, shortly after graduating from university, I uh, traveled to Japan and I joined a small um, NPO, a small nonprofit, um, working on the relief effort following the triple disaster um, that happened in Tohoku. Um, to try and see what I could uh, do to help. So, that's not really the point. What, what I'd like to kind of like highlight is what I saw. So, you know, I was a kid, basically. You know, I was in my, I was in my early 20s. You know, I'm in my late 20s now, but a couple of years makes a big difference. And so, you know, I wasn't prepared for, you know, sites of devastation or an atmosphere of grief, like I wasn't prepared for that at all, you know, and, um, you know, I went uh, really not understanding what the, you know, psychological toll would be on me, or what the extent of the, 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 the grief would be in the area. However, that's not, that's not what my experience was. Instead, you know, I, I experienced what was one of the happiest times of my life Yes, it was a you know, disaster zone, so to speak, but, but that label does, doesn't do justice to, to the nature of what was happening there. People were living, uh, people were loving, and uh, you had these, this phenomenon called the, the Kasetsu. Well, so the Kasetsu literally are uh, temporary housing, so, you know, that's where people um, are given temporary places to live, and it's awful in the sense that they're cramped, you know, they're not insulated properly, and it's, it's terrible, but, but what my point is what people did is they converted these kasetsu into spaces of sanctuary, spaces of creativity, and spaces of love. Now, what they did is they turned, you know, these these box accommodations, these box, these box um, uh, um, residencies in, into into cafes and bakeries and and, and uh, uh, you know. Uh, antique shops and galleries and, and all these really creative warm places and you know as a result you know the, the streets of Ishinomaki uh, you know and Onagawa Onagawa now in particular um, you know became filled with light and life um, and that's that's what I want to talk about it's this idea of using love as a resource you know, love as capital to invest into a situation that that is, you know, indescribably awful, and in seeing what we can get out of it. So, um, with particular reference, you know, I, I'd like to talk about the um, area in which my mother lives, and I'm there at the moment, and that is here in West London. Um, and of course, I'm referring to the Grenfell. Tower fire incident. So let me let me try and explain um, what I did. So I um, took um, my entire comic book collection over several several years. It's a hell of a lot of comics, and um, I just put them out. And I just said, please take because you know I, I don't have like a whole lot of food or a whole lot of clothes or a whole lot of money to give. But I thought I can give a piece of me. You know, what, what can I? What can I? Only I give. And I thought, well, there's my comic book collection. You know, that's that's an expression of my love. You know, that may sound odd, but um, you know, my, my comic books are are, are 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 units. Are units, in fact, a matter of currency through which I can I can I can translate my love into the world. So I I, I laid them out and I left I left a message and it said. Um, uh, Please, please pick up, uh, please pick up a comic for free, and, and leave a message for the next person. And I left them near near Latimer Road Station. Um, it was a terrible choice of area because that is kind of like the epicenter. And, you know, people are very frustrated and, and so on, and moving around. And I left it for a day, and I came back. And people had taken loads of comics, but um, no one had left a message. They had also taken the table the comics were on. Um, now. Let me let me explain what 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 just happened. Is I is I had taken um, some love, I had taken some portion of my love, and I put it in uh, a, 
like an air, um, a, a, a zone of impossible grief. Now, what is the result? You know, obviously that love would be consumed, and you know it, it would be very hard for people to give anything back because the extent of the grief. So, uh, luckily, that that following day, people had begun to open up similar spaces. They had begun to open up spaces for kids to do arts and crafts. They had begun to, you know, open up spaces where people can sit down and talk to each other. And, you know, similar spaces had begun to open up. And I tried again. Uh, this time, you know, I I laid out the remainder of the comics. Um, I laid out a, a, a rug, and well, not a rug, but like a, a cloth, a colorful cloth, to, to literally frame the space. And I put it up against the wall um, near um, where. Uh, near one of the spaces where some kids were doing crafts and up on that wall I put up a bunch of art and some of this art was um, you know a comic art from like series such as the X-Men um, which is symbolic in itself in terms of what the X-Men kind of like go through in terms of facing adversity and you know some art from anime and so on and some art from Hey Stories so original art by like Anne and Martin and, and um, I put that art up, and uh, well, why did I do that? Well, simply because to create a space, you know, to create a safe, creative space where people could, you know, walk onto that carpet and for a moment in those four by four square feet, um, just look at something sort of beautiful, displace themselves in, in time and, and just uh, witness, witness an act of love. And not just for me, but from from the artists and um, from within his stories and the artists um, who who did the comic book and, and manga art and so on. And I left a message. And again, I said, you know, pick up a comic. Please leave a message for the next person who comes by. And um, uh, also, feel free to put up, you know, your own art or your own pictures to add to like this mini gallery. Um, so, what what I've done is I've asked people to to become involved in the act of spreading love, you know, because uh, lo love isn't, love, love, is, love is, is capital, that, that, that's what I'm trying to argue, but it's different from money, because money, once you invest it, it, it it's, it's, it's a finite resource, you know, it comes and goes, and yes, it moves from one person to the other, but it, money doesn't necessarily um, generate more of itself, in, you know, out, out of nothing almost, but love does, you know, by, 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 by investing a certain amount of love, it generates more of it, potentially. Um, so of course my first attempt, you know, it was, it was complete, my, my investment of, of love as an artistic resource, as an artistic resource, um, was consumed by the grief. Um, but however, this time, you know, I had partaken in a collection of spaces which were now doing something similar to what I was trying to do. Um, and in that sense, um, the space had more legitimacy and there was just more love. There was just more love in, 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 in that area um, to kind of... Um, uh, make it possible for for any acts of, 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 of art to, to, to exist and acts of love to exist. Um, so I left it for a day and then I came back and um, again people had taken comics and again someone had taken the table but someone had left a message um, and uh, that was a, it was only one message but it was a long message and it, it, was, it was from someone's heart. But um, yeah, and someone, someone had left this message. And the message was, was one of sorrow. You know, it, was, it was one of, of acknowledgement um, of, of sadness. But it was also one of solidarity. And that, that is the way the community had chosen. Or you know, these mem the members of the community who, who, had, who had written this message had chosen to use the space is to show solidarity to the next person who would come by. And that's what I tried to do, is I tried to give people a space in which they could take ownership of the kind of messages they wanted to share with people, uh, of the kind of things they wanted to express. And, and um, within, within using art as kind of like a safe space. And then that act of sharing a message, that act of creatively leaving a message for someone is, is an artistic act, you know. Um, you know, love is, love is, uh, love is an interesting um, resource because it's, it's, as well as being used as capital, it's also the raw material for art. You know, art is created um, through, through the investment of love. Um, 
and that is that is basically what happened. Now, um, it's still there. The the art, the, the comics, they're still there. The, the paper from from messages, the blue tack for people to put up their art, it's all still there. But I'm not going to go back. I'm not going to go back to check because it's it's really difficult and very emotional for me to keep going back to the site. So I'm just going to leave it, and I'm going to um, do as intended and, and leave it for people to make of the space what they will. Um, whether they choose to add their own art, whether they choose to add messages, whether they choose to sit down and read comics, whether they choose to take comics away with them, whether they choose to do away with the space altogether. Uh, my purpose was to um, create a space uh, for people to do with as they will. And uh, this takes me on to why I'm, I'm saying this, why, why I'm telling, telling you about this. And that is that um, the the point of hey, the point of hey stories is, is to unify creativity and imagination with with love, with with, with activism and, and 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 progressivism and, and this idea of, of inclusion and hope and and healing. And I want to encourage you know ev everyone who sees this video to to invest their own love into into something that they care about. It can be your it can be your family, it can be your community, it can be people really, really far away. But I encourage us all to make our own spaces where where um, you know we can generate love for one another. That that is what I'm encouraging you to do. Um, and uh, you can you can do what I did or you can do something completely different. You know the sky is the limit. And um, um, well, greater than the sky, you know, our hearts are the limit, and as deep as our hearts are, we can come up with anything. And that's, um, I'd love to see kind of like what you do and, 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 and uh, the spaces that you create. Um, and just just a few just a few tips. So um, you know, based on based on my experience, you know, it's it's evident that um, you know it, it it's like painting. You know, working with love. You know, you need. You actually need practice. You actually need to. It needs to not work once or twice, um, for you to kind of like get an idea. So to don't let yourself be disheartened. And it's hard. You know, it's hard giving giving love. It's because it makes you vulnerable. And what people do with that space, in the sense they're doing that to you, um, is how I felt. And that's really hard. That's really kind of like, um, uh, almost in in a small way, kind of traumatic. And that's why I encourage you. You know, if you are going to set up a space. Um, uh, a creative space. Um, I recommend that you do it with friends, or with family, or with people that care about you. So stay safe. Um, never do anything that puts you at risk. Because um, you know my my basic motto is um, um, you know ne never die, never kill. Um, you know um, you've got to uh, you've got to live, and we've got to preserve life. And um, yeah, so make sure you're safe. And um, you know there there are other things like if you if you can work within within a space where other people are, are creating similar spaces you know it it protects it protects your space you know there's there's strength in in in, in, in numbers almost but what, but it's more of a case of there's just more love invested in an area um, so do 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 take all of that uh, into account and you know the the beauty of the beauty of art and the beauty of of, of giving giving art to the world is that um, only you can create what you're about to create. Only you, that is literally a piece of you um, uh, here here in this space in, in the world in the material world. You know, Jim Carrey talks about this idea that that um, we are not our bodies. We are the energy. We are we are we are the the life that that emanates from within us and, and expands beyond our bodies. And that's what I the way I encourage us all to live. You know, with, with, with sharing our our, our, our love, our love uh, with the world, and uh, I think that um, uh, you know, through through acts like these, we can make a we can make a difference to one or two people, or five people, or ten people, a hundred people. Um, everyone talks about feeling they can't make a difference, but we can. Like we actually can. It is a matter of of of, of changing our relationships with one another and brightening up someone's day. You know, if enough people um, have lighter hearts, then the worlds will change. Um, so that's that's one way in which uh, 
in which uh, we can uh, we can do that. So uh, I'm also going to be releasing uh, two posters, uh, which you can use uh, at, if you want um, at, at your own discretion. Um, one of them is of our one of the Hay stories. Um, really big character is Asem, who's a heroine who possesses super empathy. You know, she draws her power from the thoughts and feelings of others, and it's going to be you know her, and it's going to say love across it. And then we're going to have another one, um, which is going to be Iconoclast, who is technically our antagonist, but she's a little more uh, complex than that. And her whole thing is is um, creating her own path in life, and um, um, and forging her own version of the world. And for her, the motto is going to be resist. Um, so um, I think it's I think that you know uh, you can't resist without love. Um, so so do 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 take that in mind. You know, um, never never engage in any in any violence. Never engage in anything that um, would put you or others at risk. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm going to put out these two posters um, done by our artists uh, Mariah and Anne, respectively. And uh, for you to use as, as as you will, so that'll be a later post. Um, but yeah, so so do go out and create your create your spaces and and touch people's hearts and, and you know talk to talk to us. So send send us messages or or leave leave comments um, under this post or either either on YouTube or, or on Facebook and uh, let us know you know how your spaces worked out, you know how how you know how how um, you found the experience and we'll be here to support you. So yeah. Uh, love, imagine, and speak, and uh, we'll see you soon.